What's up everybody? Well, welcome back to Team Fish Nichols YouTube channel. Today we're doing a nationals report. And what's your name? Eduardo Gonzalez. And where are you from? Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay, so we know that you play the Hipata deck. But before we start talking about it, uh, what were your matches in Swiss? Uh, first round in Swiss, I went against Israel Sosa's brother, Sammy Sosa, I think. Okay. Uh, he was playing Night March. So with Night March, my game plan is to start up with Seismic Tone. Uh -huh. uh, just quaking punches and try to stick a hard charm on there, making him take knockouts harder. Okay. Um, then when he would Night March for like, say, 100 damage, I will just use a Pokemon Center Lady, heal it off. Then repeat with Via Seeker, do the same thing, Pokemon Center Lady. Mm -hmm. um, enhanced Hammer 06, they help a lot with their DCEs. True. Burbank Laser as well. That's how yeah, round one went for me against okay. Sammy Sosa. Uh, round two, I went up against Manectric Garbodor. Okay. So Manectric Gar 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 Garbodor. Garbodor. Yeah, there you go. It was uh, more of my advantage because if it powered on, True. Uh, the only thing they have is the Manectric, so I just got to use this guy, hit powered on, yeah, true. their Mega Manectrics and that's it. Don't mm -hmm. use nothing else. Okay. Um, game three, uh, I don't remember what I played against game three. Okay. Uh, I know I played... Game four, I went up against a Mega Manectric deck as well. Okay. With, uh, what do you call it? Empoleon. All right. So, Empoleon was the only attacker that could hurt the Hippowdon. True. So all I had to do was knock out the Empoleon with double edge. Okay. And they would knock out my one Hippowdon, then I had another one set up in the back. So they would have to forcefully take out another Empoleon to hurt me. And True. I just didn't let him do that. So I won that game. Uh, round five in Swiss. I went against a Mega Manectric as well. I I lost that game. <laughs> uh, why? Because I was stuck with just one baby hippo. Okay. So we got Turbo Bolt, tur turn two, and I just lost. Uh, game two, it was mine since I got to go first. I got my hip out on, out, turn two. Yeah. Resistance Desert, I won that game. Uh, game three as well. He did the same thing. <laughs> uh, he went first. I was stuck with one baby hippo. Knocked him out, turn two, and I lost. So that's how it went. True. Um, round six. Uh, I don't know what I played against round six. Yeah, true. It's been a long weekend. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know what I played against round six. Um, seven, round seven. I went up against. Uh, I know round <laughs> before the round seven, I won round six. Okay. Uh, round seven, I went against Seismitoad Bats. Okay. That's my only hard matchup. Uh, Seismitoad Bats pretty much does what it does. Bats hits my hippos. Burbank laser, the only thing that could hurt my hippos. Yeah. Um, it was a hard matchup for me to win, and I lost. Uh, round eight, I went up against uh, Kevin Baxter. He was playing Groudon, and before we started, I asked him if he wanted an ID. Okay. Uh, he didn't want to, but I showed him one hippo, and then he wanted an ID. <laughs> so I just showed him this thing. He got scared, I guess. <laughs> He knew the power. Yeah. He knew the power of the hippo. Yeah. So I ID'd. Um, my last round, nine, I went up against another Seismitoad Bats. Okay. That game, I won. Uh, reason I won, because I, I was using Seismitoad and Heart Charms. So they were quaking punching me for 10 damage. True. I went second, so I got my first quaking punch. So uh, they were quaking punch for 10, I was doing 30. Um, so I was using Pokemon Center Lady, healing off damage. Via Seeker, Pokemon Center Lady, 06. Get my Via Seekers again. Quaking punching. Yeah. Uh, then it, I was setting up a hip on the back, waiting for a one hit knockout, which I did with double edge. So doing 100, mm -hmm. sticking three of these, and a muscle band, that's a 180 on a clean seismic toe. Okay, so, very cool. 
Yeah, hip powder on helped me a lot. All I had was seismic powder falling out and setting up my hip on the back. Okay. So that's a round nine. You got your invite to Worlds, correct? Yes, I already got it. All right. So going that night, were you more <laughs> excited that you got your Worlds invite or excited that you made day two? I was just excited for both. I was only here for 17 points, but I got more than I wanted. Okay. So it was pretty fun. All right. So what happened day two? Uh, day two, first round, I went up against Trevenant, uh, Trevenant Gengar. Okay. So that match was pretty even for me and him. Uh, same thing I got to do is start with Seism Toad, Quaking Punch with the Heart Charm while I set up a hip on the back. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing, stick a heart trim on this guy. Uh, Trevenant takes four hits, doing 40 damage with the heart trim attached to it. Yeah. Uh, apparently, my hip was going to win that war, attacking twice. Uh, and I pretty much we tied that game. Okay. We went to game three and we tied. Uh, what did I go up against? Round two on day two. Uh, I don't remember what I went up against. Okay, that's okay. Um, round three, I think I went up against Kevin Baxter. No, not Kevin Baxter. Um, he was playing Big Basics. I forgot his name. I'm not sure. So, yeah, he was playing Big Basics with Garbodor. Okay. Um, the only attacker he had was a Pikachu. So Pikachu doesn't really do as much damage. Max is at 100. Yeah, true. So what I did was take out Pikachu's with Landers, mm -hmm. let Landers get knocked out, and then have my hip pod on clean up the rest. Uh, that's about it. That's how I won that round. Um, I don't know what I went well, Round four. Okay. I played against Seismitoad Bats. I won that game again. Same strategy. Hard Charm, Seismitoad. Yeah. Quaking Punch, taking 10 damage. Uh, Pokemon Sailor Lady healing stuff off. Um, I won that game. Um, round five, I went up against uh, Brandon Salazar. Okay. He won nationals last year. Sure. He was playing also Seismitoad Bats. <laughs> so I went up against three of my hard matchups. I won against Brandon Salazar. Same strategy Seismitoad, Hard Charm, Burbank Laser, Pokemon Sailor Lady, 0 6. I won that game. It was a pretty hard game for me to win. Two owed him. Yeah. Uh, I was just shocked. Yes. I, I won three of my hardest matchups in day two, and I don't know how, but I did it. It was your day. It was. <laughs> yep. And then round six, the final round of day two, I was playing against Groudon. Okay. Um, Primal Groudon is almost an auto win for me because they don't have any non EX attackers. And the guy was playing Groudon with Wobbuffet. Okay. That's it. True. So all I had was two hippos set and then Resistance Desert, Resistance Desert until he, not, he died eventually. True. That's about it. Alright. It's so, like an auto win. Yeah. So going to day three, uh, how did you prepare for it? Prepare for Willard? Yeah. Uh, the only strategy I had for Wailord was to set up a big hippo with all the energies. That way they won't remove it. Uh, and just save my resources. Try to discard the Sycamores. Discard all of them. Hold on to these guys. Discarding their hard charms and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, holding on to this lady because sometimes I use double edge taking 20 damage. That's true. So double edge could do like 140. And then next turn I could do 280 total. Okay. That's to a big fat <laughs> whale lord. <laughs> True, yeah. But it was just a hard matchup. I mean, it was almost in my favor. I don't want to say it's not, but I tried my best. And he got it eventually. How close was it? Uh, game two was very close, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, my first game, I was just stuck with the Landers, and he had Suicune to stall out. Oh, okay, true. Uh, Silent Labs did small work, but he had more stadiums than me, so I couldn't win it. Um, and then game three, I, I did what I did, set up a hip out on, and couldn't do it. I yeah. just knocked out one Suicune, taking one prize. But still, I mean, top eight is very great at Nationals, so congratulations, sir. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so I guess the first question is, why did you decide to play Hanout on? <laughs> uh, it's a funny story actually, so before, it was right after Primal Clash came out. Okay. I was playing Mega Manectric Landorus mm -hmm. at the time. So one of my friends, he was playing Hip Howdon, and he only used one Hip Howdon to take out my Mega Manectrix and Landorus. <laughs> okay. And so that's how I figured out Hip Howdon is good. With all the big EXs coming out, Mega Gardevoir, Seismitoad, all the big EXs, I knew this guy would put a stop to it. And he did. He helped a lot. Okay. And that's, that's pretty much it. Hip Howdon's like my favorite now. <laughs> Alright, so what was the idea behind the one birch? One birch? Uh, my bench is never full. I usually have two or three Pokemon on the bench. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes I don't need to play stuff. And birch is very good. It yeah. helps me. Now you see that you only play two birch seeker? Yep. Was that just because of uh, Toad? Or you just couldn't find space for more? Uh, I don't think... No, I couldn't find no more space, but I think two VS seekers is good enough for this deck. Uh, one thing I might do is drop one of these Sycamores for another VS Seeker. But I think overall, two VS Seekers is still good for this deck. I'm not drawing into stuff. I don't need to draw into stuff. Because I'm only going to stick with one Hip Hot on in the active. Yeah. What do you do, man? <laughs> okay. I'll post those with SD cards. Pretty close. No, I just all Alright. So you played the one Max Potion? What was the reason behind that? Max Potion. Heal off Landorus, mm -hmm. Seismitoad, and the Shaman. Okay. That's only the max potions there for. Now, did you ever Sky Return with Shaman at all during the tournament? Uh, no. No? I did not Sky Return once with him. Okay. Um, but if I start off with him, I have to Sky, uh, sky Return. Mm -hmm. But other than that, Shaman's very good. This was originally a second Birch. So okay. I figured taking out a Birch for a Shaman will help this deck a lot accelerate. And it did. It helped a lot. Shaman's good. Okay. Now we see that you play two Silent Lab, one Verbank, and three Lasers. Mm -hmm. Why don't you play like two Verbank and one Silent Lab? Uh, two Verbanks. Reason being is because there's a lot of Seismitoad with Lasers and Verbanks. Mm -hmm. So I figured they're going to play the Verbank for me. And that's going to give me more room in my deck. So I went for two Silent Labs. And another thing, Suicune and Safeguarders. That shuts off, so I can just bully them with the Landorus. Okay. So knocking them out with the Landorus is good. Then having the Hippo to clean up the, clean up the other stuff with the Hippo on. And that's it. That's right. reason. Okay. So we see that you play all these different supporters. Mm -hmm. Which one was your favorite overall? Favorite? I would have to say Pokemon Center Lady. <laughs> and the 206. Okay. Those two, those three helped me a lot. Okay. Against Seismitoad. Against Seismitoad helps a lot because you get poisoned, go to sleep, Pokemon Center Lady helps. I say these three cards help a lot. Okay, alright. So, uh, going to Worlds, are you going to sit with the pad on? <laughs> Most likely. Uh -huh. I mean, I love this deck. It's the only deck I know how to use. True. Uh, it's helped me a lot, actually. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick with the pad on for Worlds. Okay. Now you talked about the one Sycamore mm -hmm. change to Verse Seeker. Yeah. Would you consider anything else right now? To be honest, no. No? Maybe maybe a Bunnelby instead of one Sycamore. Uh-huh. Just in case I see Will Lord again at Worlds. <laughs> that one Bunnelby will help me a lot. I know it will. Yeah, that's so I very might sure. just drop a Sycamore for a Bunnelby. Depending how Will Lord does here, I might drop that Sycamore for a Bunnelby. Okay. Do you, uh, do you expect Wayward to be larger at Worlds? Uh, if it wins here, probably. Okay. People are going to see it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be big at Worlds. Okay. But who knows? Yeah. People now, are going to prepare for it maybe with yeah. Breezing Genesect. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, uh, besides the Toad Bats and the Wailer, what would you say is your other worst matchup? Other worst matchup? Uh, the only other two worst matchups I have would probably Flareon. Flareon and Nightmarch are like my two other matches that are like 50-50, mm -hmm. depending on how I start. Uh, like I said, Seismitoad helps against those two matchups. Uh, Hard Charms help. Rarebanks and Lasers are 0-6 Hammers. Yeah. They all help against those matchups. Okay. 
Now, uh, do you want to give any shout outs to anybody? Uh, yeah, I'd like to shout out to a lot of my friends that came here with me. Uh, Josh Roberts, Carly Clemens, Luigi, uh, Chris Collins, there's a whole bunch of people back in Utah who supported me, making, make, helping me make it this far. So yeah, Rob Larry is one of the big ones. He gave me a lot of uh, inspiring words, helped me get through all this tournament. So, yeah. Alrighty, man. Well, thank you so much for the interview, and congratulations once again. Alright. And we'll see you at Worlds. Thanks. Alright, take care. You too.